What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello guys, it's me again, Simon, your good heart VA. If you've already subscribed to this channel, you already know that we share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that can elevate your Canva knowledge to the next level. Those who are new to this channel, we would appreciate it if you hit subscribe and get updated on the latest posts we share here from time to time. Before we start, I have a question for you. Do you want to transform your images into a paint-like portrait? Because today, we will show you how to create a paint style effect in Canva. This is the sample we will create for you using the paint style effect. Let's now go to the blank Canva design editor. Go to Uploads or Photos and drag any photo you'd like. Using the image, go to Effects. Find Glitch, See All, and choose Stencil. Apply the settings. RGB Shift, set it all to 0. On edges, the amount should be 0 0.2, like this one. And pass-through is 1. The amount in edges may vary on the look of the image you use. So the goal here is to make your image look like a paint-made image. The amount 0.2 is just my recommended setting as a start, and you can change it or increase it until you find the right mixture in the image. For this image, I think 0.5 is already good. Okay, using the image, Go to Effects again and remove its background. So, let me click the Effects again. And Background Remover. If you are using the Pro version, you can automatically remove the background under Effects. If you are a free user, you can use the free alternative background removers like Remove.bg or sticker mule i will put in the description box below the link to these alternatives if you want to have a canva pro account i have a link in the descrip description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of canva pro it's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want hassle free now let's proceed using the same image go to adjust option and apply these settings. Change contrast to 11, the saturation to 11, and the blur to negative 11. Okay, now you can see the difference. The image look turned to a painted look. Okay, so let me just align the image. Wait a second. Okay, align your image to the Canva page like this. Okay. So, to make a paint style effect design, the photos with keywords such as abstract paint texture, abstract painted texture, and abstract paint texture cutouts will make your designs attain the paint style effect. So, let's now apply. Apply them. So, go to uh, Photos and search for Abstract Paint Texture. Okay, so there are lots of options here to choose from. So, I'll just scroll down and here. I choose this one because it has the colors of my image okay so 
right click and set images background okay so go to photos again and uh, now we will search for abstract paint texture cutouts okay so okay so here the first one i choose this white one okay so using this i will go to adjust and again i'll change the contrast setting to ele uh, negative 11 saturation to 100 and blur to negative 5 Okay, so after that, go to uh, transparency and change it to 40. Like this. Okay. So, set this um, photo as an, as an overlay. Okay, to make it more realistic. To make the image more realistic and look like a paint effect or a paint uh, made image duplicate it and just overlay it to the parts of your image okay so guys you can find various abstract paint texture overlays in photos so just find the right one that blends with your image and color backgrounds so preferably um, I suggest the same or close to the color of your image or your background Okay, so just like this one, I choose um, brown because uh, the image uh, has color brown in it. So I'm applying again the same settings I mentioned um, a while ago. Okay, then resize and use it again as an overlay to the parts of the image with the brown color in it. Okay, you can uh, press Alt like this and uh, drag the photo or element or video and it will uh, automatically create the duplicate of it. That's um, the one that I'm saying is a Canva shortcut. So you can apply it while you're designing. Okay. I'll just resize it and that's it. For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, your good art VA, and in behalf of Pinky, Godson VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Remember to hit the notification bell because Pinky will bring you another exciting tutorial in the next video. Bye guys, see you in the next video.